The next type of HTML that I want to show you how to embed in your Muse site is how to add uh, Twitter feeds, how to add Twitter content to your site. Go ahead and close up the community page and any other pages you have open. Come back to the sitemap, and we could, we could put this on any page, it doesn't matter, but we're going to put it on our A Master page. So double click on A Master, scroll down, and you're going to see we've got our Contact Us area. And we're going to make this thing bigger. We're going to have to because we're going to put a form in here. We're going to put this Twitter content in there. So I'm going to zoom out. Why don't you go ahead and zoom out. Come down here to the uh, bottom of browser and drag it down. And we're going to go down kind of far here. Let's go down to like uh, 600 pixels, if you will, roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. We'll just go pretty exact or pretty uh, rough there. Click on the gray rectangle. Just make it bigger. Drag it down. And then we're going to select this content, both these are grouped, and drag it straight down. Get it close to the bottom. There. Now we've got room to put it. Okay, so let me zoom in a bit. Now to get it, what you need is you need a Twitter account. Okay, so that's essentially it. That's what you really need to do. If you go to your Twitter uh, page, your Twitter account, you log in, and this is mine. Um, ask Brian Wood. If you look at your gear right up here, look at the gear, click on that you'll see settings. Now this is a little different. This has been this changed relatively recently. If you come to widgets, go ahead and click on widgets. This is where you can create a widget that you then paste into Muse. Click create new. It's going to say, "All right, well, we're going to add a timeline." So the timeline source is what username we want to put in here. You can see that I've already got mine. You can Yours is already going to be in there if this is yours. You can also include favorites if you want. You can do uh, a list. You can do your user timeline, all sorts of things. You can even search for things to include. You can include or exclude replies. You can auto expand photos if you want to. Um, you can set the height on this. I would. I want to actually make this a little bit smaller. So let's go with like 400 pixels, something like that. Um, that actually looks kind of kind of high, kind of tall rather. Doesn't look like it's updating. Anyway, so you can choose two different themes. You can choose light and you can choose dark. And I'm going to choose the dark because it's going to go on that footer background. Link color, we can try a different link color if we want to. It's your call. If you want to match it to, let's say, the green of the site, we could do something like that. We could go over to Muse and find out that hex value. Matter of fact, watch, I'll do this. Go over to Muse. Go up to fill and you'll see that there's the green. If I double click on it or click on it, I'll see I have a hex value. If you want to use this, you can. A5, AD, 3, 4. You can pause the video. Go back. And I just put the dang fill page in there, so I'm going to do none. There we go. Okay. So I'll paste that in there. Click done. All right. Um, tailoring, I'm not sure, honestly, what this is. Opt out of tailoring Twitter. Um, tailoring suggestions. And it just took me out of here. Okay. We're going to opt out of tailoring Twitter. That's fine. Uh, there we go. And it just changed my color again. So I'll put that back in there. Done. Beautiful. All right. Uh, you can go further with this if you really want to. There is a customization documentation you can look at. But we're going to create the widget. It's going to give you the code right here. So you can copy that. So I'll copy that. You can always update and then recopy and repaste. There we go. Finally, it changed. Go back over to Muse. And just in this case, we're just going to paste. So go to paste. You could, like I said in the previous video, you could insert HTML, paste it in the dialog, and click OK. Just paste. There we go. And you can see it's there. Awesome. Now I can make it a little bit wider here just so it fits. There we go. Not too bad. Set it off to the side. Put it right about there. That's not too bad. Now, the only issue we're going to have here, notice where the footer is. We've got to make sure that this is footer content. So with it selected, click footer, and it should fix it. It kind of moved our footer down, and now we're good. You want to try and put a border on it? You can. It's your call. Um, it's blending in a bit. I might just try and design it a little bit different, but that's fine. There we go. Let's go try it out. Go ahead and save your page. Save site. Preview. I'm going to preview the uh, site in the browser. 
Should take a second here. Okay, we've already fixed all of our links, our navigation. I'll go contact us and go all the way down, and there we have it. There's all my tweets. Sweet. All right, I'm going to go back to Muse, and the next thing we are going to do is we're going to insert some Facebook content. 